This is about a tender baby elephant who endured the distressing ordeal of a parasitic infestation. This vulnerable baby elephant has been observed wandering near the village border for the past few days, appearing isolated, weak, and noticeably pale. One morning, the villagers discovered that he had collapsed on the ground near an abandoned crop field. The sight brought tears to the villagers, as this baby elephant was truly endearing with its adorable nature. They decided to call for the assistance of wildlife officers to save the life of this precious baby elephant. However, they were uncertain whether the elephant would wander back into the deep forest before the officers arrived. Therefore, the concerned villagers placed a rope loop around its neck to secure the baby elephant until help arrived. The villagers were profoundly moved by the plight of this baby elephant and stepped forward to assist. They decided to erect a temporary shelter to provide refuge for the elephant, considering its evident dehydration. In the meantime, officers arrived at the location and commenced inspecting the elephant. The veterinary surgeon decided that, before taking any further actions, the elephant needed to be boosted up, considering the apparent severe weakness and dehydration the baby had experienced. The officers hastily prepared to administer saline to the elephant, cleaning the ear flap before connecting the IV line to the ear vein. Despite being awake and not sedated, the elephant struggled a bit, making it challenging to maintain the IV line in place. Therefore, some officers could be observed holding the ear, patting, and consoling the elephant. The scene resonated with the tender image of a father holding his baby's hand during their first vaccine. And also, one officer is covering the elephant's eye to prevent agitation during the injection process. The elephant is incredibly adorable and both officers and villagers have easily fallen in love with this charming creature. They are caring for him as if he were their own child. Here, you can see the elephant has wrapped its trunk around the arm of an officer, indicating a deep sense of trust in these individuals. They are administering multiple bottles of saline, considering the critical condition of the baby elephant. There are no visible signs of external injuries, and there is no evidence of being injured by gunshot, jaw exploders, or trap guns, which are the main threats to elephants. The elephant's abdomen is swollen, and based on the signs, the veterinary surgeon suspects that the elephant is suffering from a parasitic infection, likely the liver fluke disease. Clear indications such as submandibular and ventral abdominal edema in the baby elephant further suggest the presence of a liver fluke infection. Therefore, he decided to administer an antiparasitic drug to the elephant. Antibiotics, ivermectin, and other antiparasitic drugs were added to the IV line, with some antibiotics directly introduced into the catheter. The baby elephant continues to exhibit a scraggy appearance and faded-looking skin, primarily a result of dehydration exacerbated by high temperatures. Saline proves to be effective in such instances, helping to rehydrate, address nutrient deficiencies, and revitalize the elephant. The veterinarian conducted a thorough examination of the fecal matter excreted by the elephant, noting its dry and fibrous consistency. Subsequent analysis confirmed that the elephant is afflicted with liver fluke disease. It is certain that the flatworms in the abdomen may have paralyzed this innocent baby elephant.
the veterinary surgeon determined that transporting the baby elephant to a rehabilitation center would be the optimal course of action. This decision was made in order to provide the necessary care and treatment required to address the illness afflicting the elephant. Due to being a very young baby elephant, it cannot survive in the forest until the infection is fully healed. Otherwise, the young elephant would have succumbed to dehydration and a lack of energy and nutrition. The transportation vehicle has arrived and the baby elephant is being carefully lifted and loaded to the vehicle while saline treatment is still in progress. During transportation, they prioritize the safety and comfort of the elephant. Liver flukes are parasitic flatworms that impact the bile duct and liver, potentially leading to liver fluke disease. Fascia Jacksoni is the causative agent of this disease. The elephant received routine saline treatment at the rehabilitation center. Liver flukes, parasitic flatworms that target the bile duct and liver. Triclobendazole has proven to be the most effective drug for eliminating the flatworm population in the abdomen. Triclobendazole was administered to the baby elephant in the form of an oral dose. As a result, the young elephant has made a significant recovery, gaining energy and vitality. He is provided with his favorite food in the rehabilitation center and nurtured with utmost care and affection. He will be released back into his native forest once the veterinarian confirms that the parasitic infection has been completely eradicated and the baby is sufficiently fit to survive on his own in the forest. Thank you.